Using clinical, genetic and functional analysis approaches, the study identifies GABA-3, encoding alpha-3 subunit of GABA-A receptors as a novel disease gene. The study was initiated by recruitment of family 1 in Israel. This family showed a typical X chromosomal inheritance pattern with males presenting with severe epilepsy and intellectual disability, while the clinical phenotype in females is milder. Interestingly, all affected presented with dysmorphic features. Whole exome sequencing performed in affected and unaffected members of this family showed that the GABA3 variant is the most probable causative factor of the disease. In a cohort of epilepsy and intellectual disability patients in Italy, we identified a male with pharmacoresistant epilepsy carrying an intratonic GABA3 microduplication that disrupts gene expression and which he inherited from his unaffected mother. In another Italian family included in a European genetic generalized epilepsy cohort, a non-cosegregating GABA3 variant was found in only one of the affected sisters and her unaffected mother. Looking further into cohorts with X-linked intellectual disability, we identified a large family with heterogeneous presentation of the disease. GABA3 variant carriers in this family had mild epilepsy, intellectual disability and dysmorphic features. Again, affected females presented with an overall milder phenotype than males. In another family from the same cohort of patients with X-linked intellectual disability, a potentially contributing GABA3 variant was detected in one of the two brothers presenting with autism spectrum disorder. The variant was inherited from the unaffected mother. A different gene has been proposed to cause the phenotype in this family. Diagnostic trio-based whole exome sequencing revealed a recurrent de novo variant in two sporadic cases. The affected girls present with partial seizures and mild to moderate intellectual disability. To assess the functional impact of identified variants, we performed automated 2 microelectrode voltage clamp, comparing properties of wild tap and mutant receptors in Xenopus levisocytes, showed that all variants caused the loss of function, as indicated by reduced response to application of a high concentration of the neurotransmitter GABA. Some of the mutants also revealed increased sensitivity to GABA at lower concentrations, suggesting potential role of GABA3 in extrasynaptic inhibition. We have identified here GABA3 variants in patients with a spectrum of neuropsychiatric disorders and demonstrated in our in vitro assay that they cause loss of function effects. The study highlights the role of ultra-rare variants in the etiology of the heterogeneous constellation of epilepsy syndromes and the need for collaborative studies to disentangle this complexity.